guys promised me that you will not attend this club again. Did you understand our plan? Lizzie, good afternoon. How are you? I'm fine. Please, I'd like to see you. Please, I'd like to one of your shoes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd like to see you. I'd like to see you. I'd like to I just hope I will not be advised to withdraw. No, that's not your portion in Jesus' name. Uh, why, why would you think about that? Hmm. Pastor James, Femi, this is 300 level, and my CGP is 1.24. Now tell me, I mean, tell me how I will not be advised to withdraw. But James, please tell me, how are you doing your reading? Because one thing I'm very sure of is that you don't read as hard like most of us. And yet, you remain the most outstanding student in the class. Please, what is the way? Femi, you see, it is true I don't read as hard as most of you in class. Exactly. But you, that is why I keep telling you about this palm wine joint that you and your friend used to go to. You see, the race is not for the swift. Femi. Fe Femi. Tayo. Don't worry. We go rough on. Friends, friends. What? Listen. Neither is the battle for the mighty. Some trust in chariots, some trust in horses. But I decided to put all my trust in God. Pastor James, can't you just be realistic for us? Anything you could buy you. Oh, my Lord. Abio. That is why preaching is sweet in his mouth. Tayo. Let us go and sing, and dance, and drink away our sorrow. You know that people are waiting for us. That's what I keep telling you. Drinking palm wine or going to that your meeting will not take your problems away. It will even add to it. But I can assure you of one thing. That Jesus can make you a success. Tayo. No way. Tell me. Tayo. I'm talking to you now. All right, okay. Have you noticed something strange about your brother, David? He's becoming so unusually quiet since we returned from school. He's different from James I knew. Ma'am? Yes, Derry. So, you also notice it? Yes, of course. Definitely something must be wrong somewhere. So, when I need to get it. James the terror. Mm. James the danger. Mm -hmm. My one and only party for life. Now that the two of you are five and six, so tell me what is going on. Actually, mom, I asked him. But I was surprised at his response. <sighs> James told me he has accepted Jesus Christ as his Lord and Savior. That all things have passed away. Uh, the old James is dead. 
The new James is the one we can see now. No fall. Abi. James, James and Jesus. <laughs> Abi. It's not possible. It is possible. Mom. Dari, from okay. The old James you knew is dead. While on campus, I met Jesus. I met Jesus Christ. And he changed everything about me. See, bro, I still prefer the old James, sure? But when I gain admission into the university, maybe I will consider that your Jesus too. Me, I don't believe. Saving a James. Now another scam. Abby, <laughs> just wait and see. The things I used to do, I do them no more. All the bad, bad company I used to keep, I keep them no more. All the bad, bad life I used to live, I leave them no more. There's a great change since I met God. People of God, as we are about to end this Bible study with the story I just told you, I want you to know that you should not allow your past to decide your future. If God in his infinite mercies can forgive me of my past evil and sinful deeds, yours is not too hard for him to do. He will do likewise for you. My only sincere prayer now is that God will have mercy upon my family Especially my sister, Romoke, whom I have negatively influenced with my past life. The Lord is calling out to you today, brethren. Are you willing to answer to his call? Are you willing to give him your all? Tomorrow might be too late for you. Oh, to Jesus I surrender Bible study. Bro James, in fact, I was really blessed. Thank God. In fact, what you taught us today, the story you shared today, mm -hmm. really touched my spirit. Yeah. That's very good. That's very, very good. Sir, uh, this, this thing that has been bothering my mind, mm. I want to tell you about. Go ahead. I want to confess a sin that has been weighing me down from walking in the spirit, just like you taught us today. Uh, like four years ago, when I was in secondary school. I fell in love with that snooky face boy. Oh, but James. 
This led to sexual immorality. Hmm. I, as a result of this, I got pregnant hmm. and I aborted. This has been haunting me. This has been affecting my work with God. Sister Lara, Sir? it is okay. Right. You see, let me take you back to the Bible. In John chapter 8, it is the story of a woman that committed fornication. And the Pharisees took her to Jesus, hoping that Jesus will rebuke her. But you know what Jesus' response was? Verse 11. Jesus said, neither do I condemn you. Depart from your life of sin. Do you know that it is not the Holy Spirit that is condemning you? Hey, bro James, who is then condemning you? Sister Lara, it is, it is not the Holy Spirit. His role is not to condemn, but to convict us of our sins. <sighs> Satan, the accuser of brethren, is the one condemning you. He is the one that has been lying to you. When next you see or feel this happening, overcome him as a child of God with the blood of the Lamb. Let me pray with you, Sister Lara. Heavenly Father. bad. It is for your benefit. By this time next year, you will have been admitted into this institution. I just hope it will work as well. Oh, and I'll be grateful. It will work. How will it not work? The money you brought, I've shared it with the necessary authorities. And now that you have satisfied me with your endowment, how will it not work? By this time next year, you will have been admitted into this institution. Thank you very much, sir. I'm grateful. Why rob, rob? Rob you. Why rob me? Ah, thank you, Jesus. James, since money that you left, <laughs> this almost six. Hey, to you. you know Tuesdays are always hectic for me now. <laughs> From lecture room to, to fellowship. Pastor James. <laughs> this guy. I'm so tired. Well, I know, I know, I know. I hope you made food though. Ah, uh, no. Why? Oh, I thought you were fasting. TG, even if I'm fasting, won't I break?
that the strangers shall fade away. They shall be afraid out of their close places, trembling with fear. Lord, in the name of Jesus, I command every stranger in this body, get out in Jesus' name. I command you in the name of Jesus, out of this body. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Let your blood begin to flow through our veins. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to your name. Hallelujah to your name, Lord Jesus. Who has done this to me? Talo Sherway. Talo to him and tell me, God, yes, he you want to lend me powerless? I I refuse to be a figurehead. It is because they know I am capable. That was why they chose me. But you, James, you have taken away my responsibility, my glory and my honor. Ah, ah. God, his glory is now shining more than my own. What about me? Eh? When you knew I was not capable, why did you choose me? James, you have offended me. And that is why I'm calling the glory and the anointing that makes all the sisters to follow you and abandon me into this palm font. And as I throw this palm font away, your glory is thrown away. Your honor is thrown away. Your anointing is thrown away. You face shame, reproach, and your life becomes empty forever and so shall it be in jesus name i pray amen tisheo baba tisheo ah oh tisheo baba tisheo oh tom pamile ru baba tisheo oh tisheo now wow how will i survive without you now Onga will kill me. I go so far. Ah, so far, ke. Ah, you are the Bible study coordinator now. Ah, those sisters. Those sisters will gladly do the cookings for you. Cut the crap, I beg. You see, no lady will be allowed to enter this room. It is out of bounds. I might have had my wrong past. But you see, the Bible says all things are passed away. And behold, all things. I become new. I am now a new creature in Christ Jesus. So, not me. God forbid. The same Bible says, Let him that think he stands, take it, lest he falls. What are you talking about? <sighs> Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. I certify this room in the name of Jesus. I certify this room in the name of Jesus. I certify this room in the name of Jesus. I certify this room in the name of Jesus. Who is that? Tolu. Oh, Tolu, come inside. Uh, Tolu, yes. how are you? Thank you. No, 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 stand Don't up, stand up, stand up, stand up. Ah, Tolu. You give God the glory. The author and finisher of all our faith. I am only a vessel. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Ah, Tolu. Ah, please sit. Thank you very much. To be sincere with you. I've been experiencing this thing for about years now. <laughs> and it's such an embarrassment to me and my parents. 
Or did you take me to an herbalist for a cure? Herbalist? Are you not a Christian? I am a Christian. I mean, are you not born again? No. No wonder. You see, the healing cannot be permanent. So let me explain something to you. If you chase out an evil spirit out of somewhere, they will go for a while and come back to check for vacancies. You see, the herbalists cannot, cannot chase out darkness with darkness. I don't want to experience this problem again. Simple. Just accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior. And we wash away all your sins and fill you with His Spirit. Hmm. And the epilepsy won't come back again? Yes, I can assure you. I'm ready. your room and sanctify it. Do you understand? Okay. Don't let us go to your room. <laughs> Tolu, what is the problem? Sebastian, in my room I spent when I see. I've been having a series of bad dreams. Different attacks. Tolu, Tolu. You see, these are just dreams from Satan to scare you. Jesus Christ has given us victory. This cannot happen again. <laughs> just have faith. James, please pray for me. <laughs> So tali bradu santabaya.
James. Uh, why are you crying? <laughs> Do you know what happened? Yes. We had said. <laughs> A lot of things are wrong with what happened. Hey. I can't be pregnant. Will you shut up? Tolu, will you just shut Get out. Get out of my room. I, I don't I don't want to shout. Just get out. Stand up, stand up. Don't, don't move close. Don't just move close. Get out. I don't want to. I'm to sorry. Look. To look. Please, get out. Get out of my room. Get out. I'm sorry. Just, just leave. Get out of my room. What do you want to do? Study the Bible. <laughs> After having sex. <laughs> Short of the glory of God. Forgive me. Forgive me, O oh Lord. Sir, the admission list is out and my name is not there. Rome, okay. To be frank with you, I'm also confused. Sir, don't be confused. Don't be confused though, because there are so many problems on ground. Your name will be out. Definitely in the second batch. Mark me by my words. Sir, I'm not even talking about the admission again. I'm not talking about the admission. How to have seen my circle since last week. Now I haven't seen it. What do you mean? 
don't set me up at all. Don't you know that I'm a, I'm a married man? I'm a family man. Responsible man for that matter. A man with integrity. Keep Rubbish. Me. What are you trying to tell me? Bullshit. Do this thing. Be, be careful. Yeah, you keep shot, sir. Doesn't know you're a married man when you're doing it. When your eyes close. Eh? Why are you insane? I think I have to report you to the VC. Then you will know the worth of what you did. Okay, okay, okay. Rom, okay. Romy. I'm okay. You know I love you. Let's settle this matter. Just one by one. Look at me. Look at me and smile. Look at me. Look at me. Let's settle it one. Romy. Everything will be over. Huh? Romy. I'm okay. You know I love you. Oh, James, yes. What's up, guys? I have a The result of the test is out. Really? Have you not checked? I have not checked it. What are your scores? We failed, I'm so sure. But, James, tell us the secret. Tell us the secret. What is the way out? Are you guys not going to the palm wine joint again? It's not helping matter, James. It's not, it's not it's helping not. matter. James. Whatever you tell us to do, that's what we are going to do. Exam is next month, and I don't want to be sent out of the school. Please. Um, um you, you see... What thing you want, you want to, do? to do? Preach. A fornicator wants, wants to preach. preach. Not, Not until you have cleaned your mess, mess. and you are sure God, God has forgiven you. James! Huh? Huh? Talk! Um, such is life. Such is life. You can't understand. We can't understand. Such is life. James. But the Bible says there is therefore no condemnation for those that are in Christ Jesus. I rebuke this feeling of guilt in Jesus' name. Stop deceiving yourself. There is no condemnation for those that do not live according to the sinful nature. You are condemned when you committed fornication and you remain condemned. James, I'm fine spiritually. Glory be to God. In fact, I'm not sound. Really? Thank God for the exhortation. I was really blessed that day. In fact, bro James, it is good to follow the word of God. That is true. You know, the place I said we should confess our sins to one another. In the book of James? Coupled with your message on my past. In fact, bro James, I really appreciate God for confessing. I really appreciate God I opened up to you. Now, I am free. Now, I am totally delivered. Do you know what happened? Yes. 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 All is fine. All is fine. All is fine. I'm just happy for, for your life. Just continue to increase in God's strength, eh? All right. Hello, James there. Hello, bro. You know, son, I really thank God for your life. Can I understand all you are all this thing? And you know what? What is this, man? I have a surprise for you. I have accepted Jesus Christ as my daughter's Savior. And I have forgiven all that offended me. Jesus made it so easy for me. Give God the glory, Lord. 
Please, I can't wait for you to come back home. So you can teach me more about Christ and I want to know more about Christianity. It's alright. Okay, darling, I'll call you later. Be good. Alright. Okay, darling. Thank you. Uh, I have made the greatest mistake of my life. Almost everyone is accepting Jesus. While I am falling and no one can see it and call me back. God, please help me. Help me, God. Call me back. Brother James, you said you wanted to see me. Yes, President. You know the Bible said we should confess our sin one to another. Of course. That is the book of James chapter 5, verse 16. So, who sinned? I sinned. The guilt is weighing me down. I feel God cannot forgive me. A few weeks ago, I... I committed the sin of fornication. What? Brother James? How? I, I don't know. I, I don't even know how it happened. I, how, how could it happen to me? I have prayed, I have fasted for forgiveness of sin, but the guilt is not going away. Brother James, let me tell you something. There is no sin that is too big for God to forgive us. From the east to the west, as far as it is, so has God taken our sins away from us. So you don't need to live in the, in the reality of the guilt. We need to return to God. Let me have a word of prayer with you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Father, I bless you for the life of your son. Mission is now true. You know, I told you. What a life. Admission, pregnancy. Told you that you can't go to the university with this pregnancy, and the best option is evacuation. But I'm scared. You know, I've told you it's going to be handled very well. This man is perfect, and he will do it well. Um, Thank you, sir. I'm grateful. Um, my me. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. Let us not forget that our weekly activities have been suspended due to the coming exams. Can we put our hands together as we welcome the president for the closing prayer? Praise the Lord. We bless God for today's program. Shortly, I'll be reading from 1 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 11 and 13. 
But now I have written unto you not to keep company. If any man that is called a brother be a fornicator, to verse 13, the second part, therefore, put away from among yourselves that wicked person. Hallelujah. One of our brothers in this fellowship has committed fornication. And that is in person of Brother James Adepawale. Ah! Our Bible study coordinator. Therefore, in line with the rules and regulations of this fellowship, I am informing you that he has been suspended indefinitely. May the Lord help his soul. Shall we bow our heads as we say the closing prayer? I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. I never knew sex between two adults could lead to that mess. But I'm understanding Christianity little by little now. Please, I'm so sorry. Why me? God, please be merciful to me. Lord James, sorry. What else do you want from me? I'm sorry. Get out. Tell him to look, get out. Get out. I'm so sorry. Mess that you are in, for we know that God does not listen to sinners. John chapter 9, verse 31. Romoke, Romoke, I don't like the way you are doing. Romoke, tell me what happened. Romoke, doctor! Doctor! Romoke! Romoke, Romoke! Doctor, please, help me check, help me check out! Stand up now! What? Doctor, please take my sister! Take me alone! Romoke! Romoke! Romoke, please stand up! Romoke!
I asked for forgiveness of my sin. Yes, you deserved me. You deserved me. I decided to punish me like this. <laughs> you are exposed to this to your project. No one cares. Anybody did to hear me out? Ah, he's so lonely. Is anybody did to hear me out? Outside, he's so cold. Is anybody did to give me shelter? Outside, he's so cold. Is anybody did to give me shelter? Have I found myself in this predicament? I left church out of shame. The church that was supposed to strengthen me was pulling me down. <laughs> All of them forsook me. I was walking towards having first class. But my GPA fell from 4.41 to 3.83. Oh my god. Hello, Suji. Please. I need you now. Everyone has neglected me. The fellowship has excommunicated me. Different versions of the mistake I made is circulating all around the campus. I don't know where to put my face anymore. I need you, Tsuji. Okay. Thank you. To the end of James and the beginning of Oluwarem 11. Ah! Baba Mie Kuishe. Hey! Ah! Jesu Mie Kuishe. Oh! Oh, Lord, Magba, Magba. Eba! Opa, Dani, Magba, Beni. Eh, Kuishe. Ah! Moni, Moti Roju Rayo, eh? Moti Roju Rayo. E miti Roju Rayo, ni te mi yoko, mi ti ba leo. E le ni ni ti pa da le yi mi, Moti Roju Rayo. Ah, James, hey, hey. E miti Roju Rayo. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. Right now, <laughs> and about to take some foolish steps. I know they are wrong, but I couldn't find a way out. I've just got to help myself out. They are post class graduates. Go me around the streets. It's no job. So, what are we saying? <laughs> Why we have people with <laughs> third class? Carefully employed. We have an example of this guy being killed. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. See how stinkingly rich he is now. Hi, James. Of all people, be sent out of that fellowship that I served with all my heart and strength. Uh, why would God save me? Why would God rescue me? Rather, he exposed me to humiliation. 
fake news of, of my ordeal. And to even cap it all up, bad results. <laughs> You've now understand still. This thing called Christianity. I have known it is a scam. In fact, in my fellowship, news were flying around mm -hmm. that there is one James so, that's impregnated three ushers. Let me tell them and say, Abba, Abba. He's only one girl that he slept with, and the girl did not even get belly. Femo, Kayo, please, when next is this your, your meeting? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, meet you know. <laughs> oh, boy, you're coming up. <laughs> see, see, I just need some way to just to just dance away my sorrow. <laughs> <laughs> you are coming up, boy. <laughs> Boys, we are finishing this grade. I've prayed for everything. <laughs> Drink! <laughs> James, hmm? what are you trying to do? How do you urinate now? Mm -hmm. This is not toilet. How many bottles have you taken today that you are behaving like this? Just two bottles. Two hmm. bottles. And you are taking ten. Hmm? You are taking ten bottles. Are you not going to Paramount Club again? Hmm. We still take you to Craigard Club. All this fellowship matter that you are carrying for head. You are the one disturbing yourself. You want to go and meet him? As Ah! That's your Bible study coordinator. Imagine, this brother is fake. So he has been deceiving the people of God. He's a good example of a chameleon. Honestly, I wonder why they chose him as the Bible study coordinator. Brother James, in a place like this. Now I understand. He was chosen by faith. God himself could not have chosen someone like him. That is exactly why God has exposed him on time. Because he has snatched all the sisters from me with the intention of sleeping with them one after the other. This one, I cannot hide. He died. Jesus, Lord, Lord Jesus, save me. Father, save him. Which you are right out, Lord God. Father, save him. Let him be washed. Bring him back, Lord God. Bring him back. In the name of Jesus, Father, you are merciful. You are merciful. You are merciful, God. Please have mercy. Baba, save him. Lord Jesus, save him. Save him and bring him back to you. Tasted and tested many options. I have opened many doors for myself. I have tasted and tested many options. I have opened many doors for myself. 
body led to agony body led to pain I have tasted and tested many options I have opened many doors for myself to my office immediately. How is your Bible study coordinator fearing? So, Bible study what? He has been suspended. Even indefinitely. Why? Uh, sir, he committed the sin of fornication. What? How did you know that? He came to me himself to confess. And I think the Holy Spirit pushed him to come to me to confess. <sighs> you mean nobody caught him? He came to you on his own and he told you? Yes, sir. He came to me. How did you conduct the suspension? Uh, sir, you know, during one of our fellowship programs, that I knew there would be enough people in the congregation. I announced what he did openly and also announced his suspension. You mean you announced to the members in the fellowship that your Bible study coordinator committed fornication? As much as we should not pamper sin, we should also not be foolish in the way we handle things. I think you have not been wise enough. Because he was already remorse and he admitted he committed the sin, so he came to you. I am not saying that he should not be rebuked. have also been in position to help him rise up again because he fell. I think he has been sold to the devil because I had a revelation about him and I believe the devil is after his soul. Sir, I mean, call his phone number now. Sir, I don't have his number again. I deleted it almost immediately. So you hate him that much? Oh my God, I don't, I can't comprehend all this. I am sorry, sir. I think I did that out of envy. His ministrations were power part. His behavior in the fellowship was almost the best. He was attracting brothers and sisters to himself that I was even beginning to feel less honored, even as the fellowship president. And I felt the sin should not be kept in the fellowship, that it should be exposed. But if I had known that it would lead to his downfall, sir, I would have done something like that, sir. I don't mean it that way. We have to 
search for him. your problem and she's the only one left with you while others have neglected you. Femi, it's not possible. How is it not possible? The lady in question already knows God. And I don't want to dis destroy her testimony. Besides, she knows the truth. I can't do this to hurt her. I've always told you, this Christianity is a scam. No, no, no. Don't disturb yourself again. Sorry, excuse me. Hello? Tolu, how are you? Please, you can't see me now. You can't. What? Are you serious? How did you know? Okay, 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 I will. I think, I just think God has abandoned me and, well, meanwhile, um, thank you. Alright. Guys. Looking for bro, bro James. James, I haven't seen him today. Oh. Please, do you have an idea where I can locate him? Please. Mm. Uh, you can check him at JTT Bar or House Fourteen. He will be there. Thank you.
Bakın adam. Come on, see. Ah. Ah. Brother James that we're looking for. That is Brother James. Uh, you wait. wait. Sit in the car while I go call you. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. mad at God. You are mad at the executives. You are frustrated with life because of that singular act. I have spoken with your president about how foolish he has acted. But just a few questions I would like to ask you. Go on, sir. Do you think Jesus was not going to forgive Judas when he resurrected? I honestly don't know. Who asked Judas to commit suicide? He was overwhelmed with guilt, so he committed suicide. No. He was ministered to by the devil. I believe Jesus would have forgiven him and restored him if he met him alive the way he restored Peter. But so that this will not happen, the devil himself ministered to him. So he committed suicide. 
and there was no room for repentance therefore. God is not the one condemning you. It is the devil. Unfortunately, your fellowship president and other executives cooperated with the devil to make things worse for you. However, if we confess our sins, God is faithful to forgive us. Are you trying to say I should come back to the same fellowship that, that ridiculed me? James, I am saying that you should come back to Christ. No. No, I am not coming back. I am, I am enjoying this new freedom. I can live my life without any, any law or rule. James, is this what you call freedom? This is not freedom but trap. God has forgiven you. All you need to do is to embrace his forgiveness. Um, thank, thank you very much, sir. I am encouraged by your words, sir. I will come and see you tomorrow, sir. No, James, tomorrow may be too late. Today is the day of your restoration. <laughs> I will come and see you tomorrow. Just pray along with me, sir. You know. Sustained no injury. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. He's going to be discharged. Hey, hey, thank God. But he is quite unfortunate. We lost the rest of them.
tasted and tested many options. I have opened many doors for myself. I have tasted and tested many options. I have opened many doors for myself. But it led to agony. But it led to pain. I have tasted and tested many options. I have opened many doors for myself. Saying to me, Come home, come son. For you who are heavy laden, come home, I'll give you rest. For you who are heavy laden. Is from the west, so he has taken my sins away from me. So don't mock me, my enemy. If I fall, I will rise again. So don't mock me, my enemy. If I fall. I will rise again Father, I